Hey guys, it's Monica. Thank you for joining me. This video is going to be all about hair, or maybe the lack of it. So if you're interested in finding out what I did to my hair and why, stay tuned. Oh, and it's also going to have empties, but it's all hair stuff. This is just all hair stuff. So if you're interested, please stay tuned. Thanks so much guys for joining me in this video up about two weeks ago doing a thing <laughs> and it was really not planned. I really hadn't planned on doing this. I just had not, I've just not been happy with my hair. My hair 99% of the time during the work week I wear my hair up twisted in a bun. Sometimes I have like a little fake piece on the top as you know added volume for the bun sometimes I'll wear a topper uh, sometimes I'll wear my wigs but my own by my own hair I had been growing it out and growing it out and the longer it got the more straggly it looked the more thin it looked and on me I I just wasn't happy with it I thought it dragged my face down I thought it made me you know as much as I think longer hair looks sexy and youngish and makes you feel good to have all this hair. I just didn't have the volume to pull off the longer hairstyles that I like. So I went to the hairdressers and um, she said, how's your hair been working out? You know, because we've been like letting my gray grow a little bit longer and we've been doing more of, um, you know, like highlight uh, pulling through the cap so you know rather than dyeing it and then having the gray show up really quick we did, were trying to do the highlight and trying to mix it in with my gray so anyway so we did that like about the two visits ago so I just said to her I said you know I'm not happy with it she goes what do you want to do I said cut it just cut it just cut it all off and so she did. So I sat there. I'm going to enclose a, a photo of it here. I sat there and she just started chopping and chopping. She goes, you sure? You sure? I said, go for it. Go for it. It's only hair. It'll grow back, right? It might take a long time, but it'll grow back. So she did. And you could see the hair piling up on the floor. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's really all gone. So uh, afterwards, she took a couple of pictures and superimposed those. Of course, you know, when your hairdresser does your hair, she does, I think, a much better job than when you do your hair. So um, it was quite a shock. I came home. Jay had no idea I was having it done. Well, I didn't either, you know, but I came home and it was like, I didn't have, I didn't have no hair. I mean, take a look at how short it is, you know. I mean, I don't think I have three inches of hair anywhere on my head. And I have cowlicks, so I can, I always have a hard time with bangs because I have two cowlicks here and they lift my hair up. I also have a cowlick in the back of my head, which has probably separated the top of my hair a lot right now um, because that's what happens with my cowlicks. It just, you know, separates. So I've ordered a hot air brush. It hasn't arrived yet, but I've ordered a hot air brush and I wanted a certain kind and I had a hard time finding it. It was on back order everywhere. So I did order it from Amazon, but it's taking a long time. I, I think it's going to come Monday or Tuesday. And I thought the hot air brush would help me with the back, smooth out the back a little bit. But I, I really, I'm thinking with the shorter hair for me, it makes my hair look thicker, which is very, very deceiving um, in general because my hair is not thick at all and that's why I love all of the opportunities I have for the wig reviews and when I get sent wigs and some of the wigs that I've bought myself that I absolutely love that I share with you guys but lately I've been really enjoying the shorter looks in the wigs I, I just think that they they just look so cute and sassy and I really like it so anyways yeah so I cut my own hair off so you're going to be seeing me in wigs and you're also going to be seeing me in this but one of the things I did want to tell you, and I know in my one of my previous videos, I talked about the red light therapy for my scalp that I've been doing on the top of my head. While it's way too soon to really tell, I, did, I didn't want to um, mislead anyone. My hairdresser did think that my hair felt thicker, looked better. My hair has always been pretty healthy because I do get it trimmed a lot. And, you know, I've been going to the same lady for 
I think 25, th almost 30 years now. So um, she has a good feel for how my hair is. And she did say it, she thought it felt heavy, felt, felt much heavier and better, in better condition. And, um, and I think too that I'm having less of a fallout, seasonal fallout. But I've also had a year of high stress and the stress can do a number to you. So I'm thinking a lot of that contributed. So this is all I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna do a little bit of empties. What am I doing for my hair? And I'll, I'll tell you the, the the number one thing that aside from styling products, but the fill-in products. Everyone always talks about Topic, and I prefer Kabuki. And Kabuki, and I think I have this in light brown, and I have the Topic in the, I believe in the um, light brown as well. So both of these are in the shade light brown. I prefer the Kabuki over the Topics. The Kabuki is a lot cheaper. I think this one is like $9.99, where this is in the 20s. I'll have to look it up. So I've got this off of Amazon. Um, probably can find it anywhere. I will link it. I do have an Amazon storefront if anyone's interested. So that's where I got this. This one is empty. I have another one already. I really like this. I think when you spray this on your thinning sections, it fills in really nicely. It makes your hair, it, it kind of sticks to your hair a little bit without being obvious or heavy or unmanageable at all. Whereas the Topics does the same thing. I mean, I think both these products are pretty well interchangeable as to how they, you know, stick to your hair, the fibers, um, the fiber material in here will actually make your hair feel thicker which I really like. However, dollar for dollar, I think the Kabuki is a better buy. So definitely one of my favorite go-to items. The second thing that I do, and this is very controversial, I do use a Rogaine uh, hair growth serum. And I know that there's some side effects associated with that. So you should definitely look into it if you're interested. But I use the Equate. Let me just get this in Walmart. And I use this, I know it probably says that you should use it twice a day. I use it once a day. And I usually use it at night. So I'll go under my red light therapy when I'm all done. At, you know, and I usually have brushed out my hair with my boar's head hairbrush. I'll stick the drops on and I'll just massage that into my hair, into the front. I also still have the Nutriox 3C serum. I have some of this left, half thing left. So I've been interchanging these two items. I want to use this up. I probably won't buy it again. I will probably continue to buy this because I think it's, you know, it's, it's helped my hair over time. I don't really think that it's hurt my hair a whole lot at all. Uh, I've had, when I say that, I, I don't really, I haven't had any side effects personally. The, the other thing that I have just about emptied is the Ordinary Hair Oil. I've had this for a long time. And this is basically not anything that I'm going to reorder. I like it. I do think having peptides and stuff for your scalp is a good idea, but I don't find myself using it and as much, and I find it cumbersome to use because I don't wash my hair every day. And, I, and I'm not gonna be putting this on second day hair per se, where I will on second day hair use my Equate or my Rogaine. So this is, this is done. I'm not going to be repurchasing it. This is <laughs> L'Oreal, what can I say? L'Oreal Magic Root Cover Up <laughs> with gray hair at my age. Oh, this is a lifesaver. This is in dark blonde. I think it's dark blonde. Yeah, Jack Blonde is the shade on this. I love this stuff. This one is bone empty, but I like that it has a little tiny pointer so you can actually get right to the area that you might want. This is empty. I've already got my replacement. Really like it. Another thing that's empty that I would not, would not do without is my All Nutrient Sculpt Body Amplifier. This gives me instant volume. I usually put this on my hair when my hair is damp damp and I take and I put it in and I just put it all over my hair and then I'm going to either blow dry it or style it but the super scalp I, I one time we went camping and I had forgot this at home you should have a second bottle in the, in the motorhome for the season but for whatever reason I didn't have it I went crazy I went all all over the place trying to buy products that would that something that would give me some volume and I got something very close but 
it didn't do the trick. This I absolutely love. I usually get this from my hairdresser, but I believe you can get this like at Sally's or any beauty supply place. All Nutrient Sculpt Body Amplifier. I think I might have it in my Amazon store as well. I love it. The other thing that, this is bone empty, but I have my replacement. And this I've been using, gosh, I don't know for how long. Um, but this is sort of a thermal setting mist. Um, Hot Steps 22 by Redken. I really like this. This is something that if I'm going to be using a, you know, my curling iron, a flat iron, a blow dryer or anything like that on my hair, this is what I will put on my dry hair as I'm styling it with heat. So this works awesome for me. Great product. I definitely have repurchased and will continue to repurchase. Just super, super awesome product. All Nutrient Define Pliable Detailer. So I believe I have this linked as well. I buy this and you, you probably, it probably take you six months to a year, at least for me to go through one of these. This is something you just, it's gonna look like I haven't touched it, but I really have. There's a lot, there's a good indent in there, but it's very soft and, and um, jelly-like. I don't know if you can see it. Anyways. It is a detailer, and I normally will put it on my dry hands after I've styled my hair, and I will just put it through my hair to, and it gives you, of course you do have to go through it. I usually go through it with a pick. You know, it gives you some added varumph to your hair, which I really like. And I think it's maybe about $13, $12, $13. Uh, well worth it because it lasts forever for me. I think it's great. Now, I... I have gone through a couple of different shampoos, the blue shampoos, just to do what I can to try to eliminate the brassiness in my hair. My hair goes brass really quick um, because of my water, I have really high water. I, I do what I can to try to eliminate it and, you know, using the blue shampoo once every, you know, week or so. And then I started to use this Matrix Total Results brass off color obsessed shampoo and i think this this is probably the best thing so far for my hair with my water for my brassiness so i think this is awesome i think this is about 16 dollars. i believe you can buy it again at sally's i'm not too sure if i have it linked in my my amazon store i buy it all of these products, by the way, I have been products that I've purchased. Nothing, nothing that I'm talking about has been sent to me. So these are all products that I've purchased. I love this. I wash my hair with this probably once every week or two weeks. I don't use it all the time. I don't use it every every time I shampoo. I normally, whoops, I normally use the, um, the pharmacy, 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 whatever. I don't know how to pronounce it. Color Lover. I've talked about this before. You can see my big S I have written in there because my conditioner is the same thing. So this is my, my normal everyday go-to shampoo. And I buy the big thing because it's cheaper. It's more economical to buy it that way. But between that and then alternating it with this, I think this has really helped to eliminate a lot of the, the brassiness that, that I get. So we'll see how it continues to hold up and work. But so far, this has really been, been pretty good. The other two products in here have been fails. I have, I bought the ProGain, which is a volumizing shampoo. I believe it's um, from the same people that developed Rogain, ProGain. And it's supposed to be for fine or thin hair. I don't remember what I paid for it. I don't think it was super expensive, but I'm not buying it again. It's empty. I have forced myself to use it at times. I don't like using shampoos that I don't notice a difference with, but I did use it. It took me almost two years to finish it. And then also I have this Marine Color Protection Shampoo. This I think was something that I bought when I was camping and I didn't, or I didn't have my shampoo, the right shampoo. So back to basics, Marine Color Perfection Shampoo. And um, it's all gone. 
a little bit left, but I'm tossing it. So not anything I would buy or recommend. Um, those have been sort of fails. But I'm sort of a very much a tried and true gal when it comes to my hair care products. So I am trying a, um, a different vitamin that I have been taking probably just for a couple of weeks. And this is by City Beauty. This is their Complete Skin Restore. I am a person that does believe in vitamins. I do take multiple vitamin. I take my calcium. I take vitamin C. I, I, take, a, I, I take different vitamin supplements pretty consistently. So when the folks at City Beauty asked me to give this a try, I said sure I would. Um, I don't, I'm going to see if I can find the price point. I don't know what the price point is. This was sent to me. And it is you take two every day on an empty, on a full stomach. I am not good with remembering to take pills during the day. If it's at night before I go to bed or vitamins in the morning, I'm okay. But if it's like something I have to wait till I eat, it's usually hard. So I've missed a couple of days of this, but I'm trying to get a little bit more consistent with it. So I'm mentioning it. I, I certainly, I don't know. It's certainly not long term, but I just thought I would mention what I am using, uh, you know, for, and it's supposed to be really good for collagen as well. And I am all about collagen. I really am. I think that collagen is the, it's, it's the answer for a lot of skin issues, you know, or lack of collagen contributes to a lot of skin issues. So yeah, that's, it's been a crazy, it's been a crazy week or two weeks since I cut my hair. Lots of different things happening and going on, getting ready for Thanksgiving. I'm going to have the gang up here. So I, uh, I'm hoping that tomorrow, Sunday, we have the flyers coming out that um, I'll be able to buy a big turkey because even though we don't have a lot of people because we are trying to still limit to a certain degree, no, sorry, eight adults and three children for sure, although there might be a few more. So I want to get, I want to get a big turkey, a big bird, a big bird. Um, and then we're going to cook here. I have no idea what the weather's going to be like. It'd be nice if it was nice because then we could utilize outside a little bit, but you know, who knows? Anyways, um, me with short hair, <laughs> short, 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 short all gone all gone so let me know what do you think what do you think of my new do i'm still learning how to style it <laughs> yeah, slow going anyways thank you guys so much for joining me and i will see you in my next video bye guys